Two minutes on the path of grace. And as I talk to people, it seems that those who have what the rest of us think would bring perfect contentment and satisfaction in life, they don't have it. Why? The Apostle Paul tells us something interesting in one of his letters. Something that should clue us in to the fact that this evil age we live in is not designed for any of us to find total satisfaction in anything the world in this age has to offer. It's not going to happen. In Romans chapter 8, where Paul promises us that we know all things work together for the good according to God's purposes, right? All things work together for the good. It might not feel like it right now, might not look like it, but that's why we need to know that it will eventually. We'll be able to look back and go, okay, all things work together for the good. In that same passage, listen to a verse that I haven't heard too many people quote or memorize. I've never seen this one on a plaque, but it's from the same passage. It says this, For the creation was subjected to frustration. Some translations say the creation, all creation, was subjected to futility, not by its own choice, not by its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it in hope. Wow. All of creation was subjected to futility, to frustration, not because that's what we wanted, that's not our will, but it is the will of the one who subjected it. Who subjected it? Who is our creator? Who is the designer? Who is the one that's going to work all things together for the good? It's God. He subjected us to futility in hope. To hear more, visit jameslanders.com.